crypto mining processor that can mine at 164 mega hash per second? What are Nvidia up to now? Let's find out on that Teco guy. Let's find out what this is. So, Nvidia's secret new GPU won't play games, but could help you buy an RTX 3080 Ti, which by the way was released last Thursday. Nvidia 170HX leaked. A new leak suggests Nvidia is working on another new graphics card, but it won't be for gaming. Instead, the rumored Nvidia 170HX would be a GPU designed solely for cryptocurrency miners. These are also known as CMPs, but this could still be a good thing for gamers. If you've tried to buy a GPU recently, such as the brand new RTX 3080 Ti, you may have noticed that it's almost impossible to get hold of one. And no, I have not gotten one myself. I have tried to search, but I could not find one anywhere already, and it just launched. This is due to many things, but one of the main reasons is the current cryptocurrency boom, which means miners are buying up GPUs to use in their mining rigs. I didn't manage to do that. So basically, the article goes on to say that according to Twitter user HXL, the specs are as follows. There will be a hash rate of 164 mega hash per second and a power consumption of 250 watts. Now, this is going to be true. That's going to be really impressive because that is not a lot of energy consumption for the power that this car can provide. It will also come with 8 gigabytes of HBM2E memory. Now, at the moment, current video cards are using GDDR6X memory on the RTX 3090s and RTX 3080s. HBM2E memory will provide a higher bandwidth. So, if these specs are correct, then this could be an extremely powerful GPU for cryptocurrency mining. Now, this is what the specs mean. The reason why these specs to attract cryptocurrency miners is that the 164 mega hash per second hash rate is impressively high. As a PC gamer points out, the mighty RTX 3090 manages around 120 to 130 mega hash per second. And yes, that is true because I have confirmed it as well. It does do around 120 to 130 on the RTX 3090. So this would be impressively higher than that. Also, yes, the RTX 3090 does have a power draw of 350 watts, which is 100 watts more than this new CMP170HX would do if it does eventually come out as specs are being detailed in this article here. The article then goes on to say that the choice of HBM2E memory also looks to be a savvy move as Ethereum miner, mining in particular benefits from high memory bandwidth. Now, this is where the HBM2E memory comes in. The GDDR6X memory of the RTX 3080 Ti, for example, and 3090 hits 84 gigabytes per second, whereas an HBM2E can reach up to 410 gigabytes per second. So this means that for any cryptocurrency miner weighing buying an NVIDIA 170HX or RTX 3080 Ti, for example, the NVIDIA 170HX would be a much better bet. Yes, it would be if the specs are correct. The main point of all this is that this will hopefully help to alleviate stock woes for gamers wanting to buy a new graphics card. Maybe. However, NVIDIA would need to make sure there was enough stock of this card as well for miners. So guys, I'm just going to let you read through this article. I just wanted to highlight that this card may be coming out soon. It's still a rumor. There are CMP cards that are out already, but this would really be a game changer, both for gamers and for miners. Obviously, it will also depend at the price point that Nvidia would sell this card. Guys, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give me a like and let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.